throbbing pain, overwhelming nausea, blinding sensitivity to light with crippling dizziness and fatigue. Yeah, the 332,000 chronic sufferers of migraines and cluster headaches in America know these symptoms all too well. But imagine finding relief from one of those painful conditions known to humanity in a surprising place, psilocybin mushrooms. In this video, I'm going to talk about the fascinating world of psilocybin mushrooms and their potential to treat cluster headaches. We'll explore the science behind this potential treatment, share stories from individuals who have found relief, and discuss how psilocybin mushrooms may change the landscape of headache therapy. Part one, science and studies. So what classifies as a cluster headache or migraine? Cluster headaches are described as intensely painful and can strike multiple times a day, lasting from 15 minutes to three hours each time. Their exact cause remains pretty unclear and treatments like breathing, pure oxygen, and even narcotics are currently used, but they don't always provide effective relief and can lead to side effects, underscoring the need for much better options. Migraines, on the other hand, affect about 10 to 15% of the population and are severe headaches accompanied by nausea, vomiting, and sensitivity to light and sound. Now, while the exact cause isn't fully understood and likely differs from person to person, migraines are thought to involve nerve activation and the release of chemicals, causing inflammation and head pain. Serotonin receptors may also play a critical role here, making them important targets for migraine treatments. Despite available treatments, many migraine sufferers still face significant challenges. However, since the turn of the century, there has been a resurgence of interest in exploring psychedelics such as psilocybin for treating various diseases and conditions like anxiety, depression, addiction, and PTSD. But in 2022, a team of researchers conducted the first ever randomized controlled trial to investigate the impact of psilocybin on cluster headaches. Published in the Headache Journal of Head and Face Pain, their preliminary study confirmed that psilocybin mushrooms may alleviate cluster headache pain and decrease attack frequency, effects previously only reported anecdotally within the headache community. The study was conducted by one of the leading voices in researching psilocybin for headaches, Dr. Emmanuel Schindler of Yale School of Medicine. Dr. Schindler's research shows that they could be game changers for conditions like cluster headaches, migraines, and even post-traumatic headaches. Collaborating with other experts in the field, their studies are exploring how psychedelics could offer long-lasting relief after just one dose. Of course, there are challenges. Psychedelics can have side effects and they're not yet approved for widespread medical use. Dr. Schindler emphasized the need for more research to prove their safety and efficacy. Another voice in the fight against headaches is Bob Wold, the executive director of Cluster Busters, an organization who supports research for better treatments and a cure while advocating to improve the lives of those struggling with cluster headaches. In an article in Harvard's Bill of Health, Bob said that psychedelics have been found to have profound and lasting positive effects on those suffering with headaches. He says, based on his personal experience with cluster headaches and cluster headache patients, an effective amount of psychedelics for cluster headaches often begins with a microdose. Doses that are so small they may not even be felt or doses that are just above that. He says patients have also found that this minimizes the effects of cluster-induced PTSD symptoms that they and other sufferers of chronic pain conditions endure. This treatment of PTSD symptoms occurs as a side effect of treating their cluster headaches in the comfort of their own home. So it not only removes the pain, but it also removes the invisible scars. Part two, individual stories. So it's hard to have the conversation of how psilocybin mushrooms could potentially treat cluster headaches and migraines without taking a look at the experiences of people who have tried it. A recent case report explored the use of psilocybin as a treatment in a 33-year-old man with a history of migraines who administered his dose at the onset of an attack. So compared to previous migraines treated with standard medications, the psilocybin dose significantly reduced headache intensity and episodes of nausea and vomiting. Moving into the anecdotal territory, one search on any popular psychedelic message board will show you handfuls of individuals who found healing with psilocybin mushrooms. One individual took a recreational dose with friends, and as a person who suffered from two to three migraines a week, said they hadn't had a single one in the 40 days after. Another individual in their 40s had migraines since they were four years old, missing out on so many experiences like birthdays, major life moments, and even ended up in the ER several times due to pain. They began microdosing. And after having 10 or more migraines a month, they only had six total during their six months of microdosing. And even those felt more like a sinus headache than a migraine. Finally, this person was suffering from near daily migraines after having a stroke and no prescribed medication had worked. He turned to microdosing. After a few weeks, he noticed his migraines becoming less frequent and severe. He also noticed that he had more motivation to do things he normally would not want to do. He kept his regimen for several weeks and then stopped because of tolerance. But fortunately for him, the migraines never returned. Part three, the path forward. So now we know that studies exploring psilocybin's therapeutic potential in headache management has yielded promising results. But beyond its direct impact on pain, psilocybin therapy may hold broader implications for mental health and well-being. Many individuals with chronic pain conditions like cluster headaches also contend with significant psychological distress, including depression, anxiety, and a very debilitating
diminished quality of life. Psychedelic experiences under controlled settings have been reported to induce profound shifts in perspective and mood, which often lead to sustained improvements in these mental health outcomes. These potential psychological benefits underscore psilocybin as an approach to treating not just symptoms of headaches, but also the underlying emotional and psychological factors that contribute to their severity. However, despite all of these promising findings, widespread adoption of psilocybin as a therapeutic option for headaches faces pretty significant hurdles. Regulatory frameworks in many countries, including drug scheduling and limited research funding, present barriers to advancing clinical trials and securing approvals for medicinal use. Addressing these challenges requires collaborative efforts among researchers, healthcare providers, policymakers, and patient advocacy groups to advocate for expanded research initiatives and compassionate access programs. Moving forward, key steps need to include conducting rigorous clinical trials to further investigate psilocybin safety, efficacy, and optimal dosing protocols specifically tailored for headache disorders. Establishing regulatory pathways that prioritize patient safety while facilitating timely access to innovative treatments is also crucial. Public education efforts are essential to dispel myths and stigma surrounding psychedelic therapies, creating informed discussions among healthcare professionals and the broader public about the potential benefits as well as the risks. While the path to integrating psilocybin into mainstream headache treatment is complex and multifaceted, the growing body of scientific evidence and patient testimonials underscores its potential to reshape the future and we can actually pave the way for a future where individuals suffering from extreme headaches have access to innovative therapies that offer not only relief from pain but also improvements in their overall quality of life and mental well-being. If you're interested in reading the studies mentioned in this video, all you have to do is click on the description below for the links. We also have resources such as free medically reviewed psychedelic guides, courses from trusted sources, and microdosing coaches that we highly recommend checking out if you're looking to begin your journey.